Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I want to talk about something that is rarely done. Uh, it's just a way of getting organized and setting the tone, setting the culture of your job site, and it has to do with a pre-construction meeting with your framers. There are a lot of different subcontractors out there, and for the most part, they come in, they know what they do, and then they do it. Well, the framing crew is a very different beast. Uh, because they're not doing something that they know how to do. They're doing something they have to figure out how to do. For example, a plumber comes in, yeah, I know how to set that. I know what the drain, the slope, that needs to be. But the framing crew is a very different uh, subcontractor. For the most part, they are not in the trades for very long. You'll see tra uh, framers that come and go because it beats up on the body quite a bit. You don't see that so much maybe with an HVAC or plumbing or electrical. Uh, even roofing's not as bad on the body as framing. Framing's pretty brutal on the body. And so you're not dealing with people who have been in the trades for a very long time. Like if I had my concrete guy, he's been in the trades for 30 years. You're not going to see framers in the trade that long. It's rare. You may see it from time to time. But they're in the trade for a couple of years, they make some money and they go. So you really need to train them. You really need to set the tone for the job site. And so what I do is I set up a movable table. And this here is a scaffolding. I've seen a lot of builders that try to build something permanently in the wall where they can have their plans. And, but the problem is, is that it needs to get moved every once in a while. An electrician needs to get in there. It might get in the way to set another uh, board or truss or something above it. You need to have a station that's movable. This here will be on the job site from the moment we start framing all the way through the finished floor uh, and this can move around throughout the entire job site. It's great. So what do I have here? I've got my clipboard here, how to build your own home clipboard, and I've got the day's itemized things here that I'll go over in just a minute. But I also have tape measure and I put a sign here, posted, no trespassing. I highly recommend this during the course of construction, during framing. Why? I'll explain that in just a minute. You want to have this on job site. I have a magnet here to pick up nails. It does a great job uh, because if you've got a nail on the ground, I've seen framers get on a scaffolding like this and stand on it and try to move it around and there's a nail on the ground. That scuffling is going to get jerked and stop. It's not going to go anywhere. So I've got a, it's great to pick up the nails, not leave them around, and it's easy to just put them in the garbage. I've got nails. I've got a big rock, <laughs> but the big rock is for holding down plans. So if it's windy out, it can hold down the plans. And I've got the plans here in a tube, which is just a, a four inch tube, and I've got a lid here, and that's tied right to the scaffolding right here. So you can see my plans over here that are in the tube. <clears throat> my original plans are not here. The framer took them home. He's not supposed to do that, but he wanted to study the plans, which I can understand for the night. I also have some signs here. And so when they come to the job site, when they come to this workstation, they know clean your site every day, every trade. And I set that tone at the job site, clean your site every day, every trade. And when you really hammer that right off the front, you'll notice that you won't have as messy of a job site. They pick up their bottles. We're in 115 degree temperature right uh, today. And so they were drinking water bottles constantly, keeping themselves hydrated. Well, they can tend to get all over the place. And so I, I make sure that they clean their site every day. You don't want any smoking on the job site. If so, it's away from the building. Uh, fire extinguisher as well, typically a lot of uh, um, places would ask for that. My insurance policy asks for that, so I have to have a, a fire extinguisher on the job site. But anyway, the, the pre-construction meeting is a list of things that you think about that are important for your framer. For example, teach your crew to clean their site every day. No alcohol on site, obviously. Uh, all header gaps please face inside, not outside. Now, what is that? Above the header of every window and some major doors, you'll have a gap. Sometimes that has got a triple ply, like this one over here has a three LVL ply, so there's no gap. But the header down there does have a gap, and it looks like it's about an inch and a half gap. You want that gap facing inside because the insulator will take care of that. 
If they face it on the outside and they sheet over it, you're going to miss the opportunity to do insulation. So I always try to have the gaps over my headers face inside. That's just a simple thing. You tell the framers it's done. They, 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 they make sure they get that done. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't have a list. Um, please watch your cut waste. So with the framers here, I talked with them. If it's under two feet, put it in that pile. If it's over two feet long, put it in that pile. Let's keep things organized because if it's over two feet, we can use it for blocking, bracing, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> um, uh, one thing with regard to no posted, no trespassing. The reason why I post this is because I live in a neighborhood. There are kids throughout this neighborhood. They wander through job sites. I post this. Now they've been warned, no trespassing. But I don't put stairs in until the entire upstairs is safe for stairs to be installed. Like my framer wanted to put them in today. I says, no, don't put the, frame, don't put the stairs in now. Wait till it's safe because if somebody wanders through here, walks up the stairs, which will go in through that cut area over there, they could wander around and there's no railing. There's no railing support. There's no nothing. They can just fall off that floor, that second floor. And that's a liability issue. It's a safety issue. Plus, you don't want people wandering through the house and going upstairs. Just stay away from that. So all the framers have to get in the ladder and they have to climb upstairs to get up there to work. And when it's safe, we'll cut the stairs in. Um, anyway, there's a list of things I've, I've created with my program at How to Build Your Own Home. Uh, every step, whether it's framing or plumbing or HVAC, excavation, I've created checklists that help people so that when you walk on a job site, you don't feel like you're lost. You don't feel like you're confused. You kind of know what to look for. And... Uh, I believe that even a lot of general contractors forget stuff like that because if it's not in front of you, you won't be you won't be notified. You won't be warned. Oh, I got to I got to make sure this. Uh, for example, it gets windy here in the late afternoon, typically almost every day. So I told my framers, don't sheet the roof later in the day. Do that in the morning. So a couple of things to do: list them, think about them, ask other framers what you'd like on the framing on the on the list, and then have them sign it at the bottom. They've been trained, they've been educated, they're now informed, and you can do that with framing, you can do that with all kinds of different subcontractors. Create a list of things you want, how you want the operation to run, how clean you want, um, how you want things to be taken care of. Uh, you set that tone, set it right away, and your project is gonna run much smoothly and make your station mobile. I, I'm telling you, this is probably the best. I've tried to design all kinds of systems. This here's the best system uh, for what I've been trying to get at. I have everything I need here, notes, square, nails, just about everything here. And they know to not leave the plans anywhere else. I've run job sites where the plans are left over in the dirt because there's no place to put them. So make your workstation the center of your job site. This is Keith Kells giving you some pre-construction uh, meeting training that I go over with my framers, uh, especially my framers. And let me tell you, it really sets the tone and they respect me. I'm here all the time. I come morning, noon, and, and later in the afternoon and they know that I'm checking on them. I'm making sure that the culture, the system, it's running smooth. And that's what you as a general contractor are doing. You are creating a system. You're creating a process. You're creating a culture whereby people are adopting to live in that culture because you're the one that said it. This is Keith Kiosk with How to Build Your Own Home. That will help you out.